Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. I'm printing skirt parts and I've remixed the bottom of the uh, the inside of the skirt to have a uh, honeycomb mesh in my other color. So the primary color is purple and then the accent color here is the sky blue. Um, and so that's going to work well with the other under the um, deck parts that I've printed. So the Z drives are all there and uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, I did have to remix a couple of parts for the skirts um, to suit my needs the way I wanted it to look. So I've uploaded those to printables. Um, they're not printing right now, so you can't actually see them on the plate, but I'll share the printables link in the link of the, in the description of this video for the uh, side fan supports. So the side fan supports uh, on the Voron V2 are this part. And what kind of bugged me about it is that if you look at this surface, this is the side that prints on the build plate. So this is facing down on the build plate. And it's uh, the honeycomb grid pattern, which we you know expect from the rest of the default skirt parts that come with the Voron uh, 2.4 R2. Um, but because this is the flat surface that prints on the build plate, these um, honeycomb grids or honeycomb grid is pushed outwards compared to the ones on the front uh, where the honeycomb grid is actually recessed in. So what I did uh, in the printables link is I took the fan skirt part, I basically cut around this middle piece here and I flipped the middle piece around so that the grid is now on the inside, roughly at the same level as you saw in the front skirts a moment ago. And then I was able to use that side on the print bed and apply the uh, inset honeycomb grid that I have here on these parts. However, uh, because this part has this arm on the bottom that supports the fans, I did have to, um, I, the resulting part does need supports because this uh, fan arm doesn't go all the way through. So you need to print it with supports, which is generally, you know, we try to stay away from that when possible, but in this case, uh, for what I wanted to do, uh, it makes sense to remix it that way and then print it with supports. So if you think that's a good idea and you don't mind printing with supports and you want to maybe add the you know mesh grid in behind here as well, um, you can look for those parts on printables and uh, see if they work for you. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. These are going to be um, finished printing in oh, another couple of hours, so it's going to be a little while yet. And uh, my friend Ryan is on his way over. We're going to continue working on the Tridex build in the basement today. So uh, while this is printing up here, I'm going to uh, hopefully make some progress on mounting the electronics and doing some wiring in the uh, on the Tridex machine with Ryan's help. So looking for another look. Uh, look forward to posting another update tomorrow um, or later today with the uh, results of the progress in the Tridex. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.